Welcome viewers to the dragster shop and transmission. Uh, we got a 2008 Jeep Commander in the shop today. Well, it's going to be quite a few days because this is a project. I'll tell you why in a minute. A client called me and said that he had an opportunity to buy this vehicle. Is one of the reasons why it's got the 57 hemi in it it's really nice and clean vehicle it does have some miles on it anyway this will be uh the first video i'm sure of many on this job i've disconnected the battery so can't really let's try my light Hey, here we go. It'll help some. It's a really nice vehicle inside. Clean. But it does have a little over 200,000 miles on it. It's got the third row seat still in it. And man, this is a heavy, heavy, heavy Jeep. This thing weighs a lot. So anyway, there we go. Now the reason it's in my shop is there's your five seven Hemi. You see, there's some parts missing off of it. That's because I'm getting ready to remove the engine. It's locked up. I'm just gonna pull it out and kind of go from there on whether or not I just replace it. Or maybe I'll tear it down, go through it. Who knows? So, this is what I found when I pulled the air box cover and filter out. Nice little nest in there. But yeah, it's locked up. A shame. I know these modern Hemis are kind of popular for some of the older restos, restoration jobs, these old Mopars, you know. There's a, uh, a fellow on uh, YouTube, uh, Dylan, he goes by Dylan McCool. Dylan McCool. He's got a 70 or 71 Challenger. He's putting one of these engines in. And uh, I've been keeping up with that little build project. And uh, he's doing a complete restoration on that car. He's just putting a modern drivetrain in it. Fuel system and whatnot. But anyway, back to this one. Yeah, this one's a clean vehicle. Just don't know what locked up in the engine, what happened. I know I've pulled out um, some of the coils and spark plugs on this side. And they are all fouled. So I'm pretty sure this engine's probably had a leaking head gasket and it just uh, spun a rod bearing as an end result. We'll see. Uh, obviously due to the clearance issues, I'm not going to be pulling the cylinder heads off of it in the vehicle. You can forget that. I'm just going to take the whole thing out. Of uh, this client, he wants it to run and be dependable uh because his wife is looking for another jeep and she likes this one so uh, yeah well it is what it is clean vehicle all right guys this is just part one of this little what's going to be a series i'll try to keep updated videos on this job uh all right, I guess one thing I can, instead of showing you the vehicle and what I'm doing to it, I guess I could show you how to take, at least how to take the ignition coils off. Now, obviously, you got to disconnect the battery first. Now, if you're just doing an ignition coil, you don't have to disconnect both of the cables, only the negative. Okay, only disconnect the negative. I'm pulling the engine out of this vehicle, so battery's totally disconnected. All right, so you've got 
coils here, one coil per cylinder, you have two valves, I mean two spark plugs in this particular application. So you've got your wire connector and you've got your two bolts. You got one on top of the on the top and one down there on the bottom. You disconnect your plug, get it out of the way. 10 millimeter socket. You can remove both of the bolts. And the coil should just come right out. Come up a little way. And there you go. Coils out. Alright. So. There you go. There's some of the plastics I took off of it. The uh, breather box there, the coupler, as you can see, uh, got destroyed a little bit. You can see the clamp where you're supposed to be seeing rubber. So whoever put this on there really didn't do it any justice by letting it suck cold air like that. So that didn't help matters any. I'm sure this thing had a severe vacuum leak. Engine light probably came on. Lean code, lean code. I don't know. But anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to end this video here because all I'm done is walking around showing you stuff. Uh, so, if you like this uh, type of content, leave me a message uh, down in the comments. Hey, subscribe to my channel, guys, and uh, hit that like button, share it. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. All right. Thanks for watching.